Vanessa Thomas with the 4 o'clock news on the streets, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, 16-year-old girl dies after falling down flight of stairs while being beaten by a relative. Elderly woman among two held in Maraval with 12 packets of marijuana. Internationally, Ukraine tells people in the East to flee now or risk death. And now the news in detail. A 16-year-old girl from Kuva is dead after she fell down a flight of stairs while being beaten on Tuesday afternoon. Alia Candice Alexander was brought to the Kuva District Health Facility at around 4.10 p.m. where she died. Medical staff were told the girl was beaten with a belt by a male relative who is a member of the Trinidad and Tobago Regiment. The relative has since been detained. The girl was a student of the Kuva West Secondary. In other news, a 75-year-old woman was arrested by police after a search was conducted at her home on Monday where 12 brown packages allegedly containing 7.7 kilograms of marijuana were found hidden inside a barrel. The drug has an estimated street value of $103,950. In other news, members of the public are being advised that the Rio Claro Health Center will be closed on Friday 8th of April from 4 p.m. until 8 a.m. on Monday 11th April to facilitate refurbishment works. According to a release from the Eastern Regional Health Authority, the Guayaguayari Outreach Center will also be closed at 1 p.m. on Friday to facilitate routine spraying by the Insect Vector Control Division. Services at the Guayaguayari Outreach Center will resume at 8 a.m. on Monday, 11th April as well. The ERHA says that during this temporary closure, services for both districts can be accessed at the Mayaro District Health Facility. The ERHA has apologized for any inconvenience caused. Meanwhile, come next Monday, the San Fernando General Hospital outpatient chest clinic will move to a new location temporarily. In a notice posted to its social media pages, the Southwest Regional Health Authority advised that the clinic will move from the RAC1 building to the ground floor of the CPTS building. The temporary move will facilitate infrastructural upgrades. The CPTS building is the blue building opposite the guard booth via the Naparima entrance. The SWRHA said all scheduled appointments and clinic days remain the same. Internationally, Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister urges residents of the eastern regions to evacuate now as fears grow that Russia will intensify attacks there. The Deputy uh, Prime Minister urges people to flee now or risk death. Meanwhile, the U.S. imposes sanctions on Vladimir Putin's adult daughters and targets Russian banks following allegations of Russian war crimes in Ukraine. The U.K. has also froze the assets of Russia's largest bank and banned all British investment in Russia. The EU is also preparing further sanctions. And that was the 4 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM and online Facebook and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, a 16-year-old girl dies after falling down a flight of stairs while being beaten by a relative. An elderly woman among two held in Maraval with 12 packets of marijuana. Internationally, Ukraine tells people in the East to flee now or risk death. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas with Aisha Wells. She's up next.